It's been a really good season so far. We've been doing a lot of really intense singles drills and doubles drills, getting into some match play. Yeah, and I think uh, we have a few matches early on in the conference schedule this year. Um, we have, in fact, two before spring break, so it's really, really been raising the intensity in practice, uh, which is good. And in terms of our new coach, um, we really love him. It's been quite an easy transition. Um, he came from a school that's really similar to Haverford, so he understands like the school athletic balance. Um, and also, he's just really pumped. He's a really cool guy, yeah. very energetic. We have so a, positive. Yeah, so we, we really like him. Yeah. So the article that came out recently ranked us third in the Centennial Conference behind Swarthmore and Johns Hopkins. So one of our big goals is to beat Swarthmore this year. Um, it's been done in the past, and we have a really strong team this year. I think we have a lot of momentum from last year. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's a really feasible goal. Another goal of ours is to make a dent uh, at Johns Hopkins. Yep. Um, last year we got one match. I think this year we'll try to shoot for at least two. Yeah, we're, po we're very positive this year that we yeah. could scare Johns Hopkins a little. Mm -hmm. So I think all of the players that played last year against these good teams, Swarthmore, Hopkins, um, I think after playing them last year, we really understand their weaknesses. We understand where there's maybe holes in their lineup, holes in their um, abilities. Um, and so maybe this season, we're really working hard to, uh, to capitalize on those weaknesses so we can have a better outcome this year. Yeah, I would agree. I would say that I was really proud of our returning players from last year, and I'm really excited to see what they can bring this year. So I'm really excited for SWAT. Uh, we were able to beat them our freshman year, so I would love to see us do that again. Um, I'm also very excited for our spring break matches, even though they may not be Centennial Conference matches. I still think they'll be really fun and a great way to start our season. Yeah, I'm excited for a few matches. We play Salisbury before we go to spring break. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember freshman year we played them. Um, and even though they're not in our conference, they've been a very um, highly ranked uh, South Atlantic team. And so it'll be fun to see. I remember freshman year the match was kind of close. So coming back my senior year, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And then also FNM probably is another match that I'm excited to play because we were – we're um, ranked ahead of them currently, so it'd be fun to like concretely prove that we should be ranked ahead of them, yeah. um, even if we lost to them last year. So I'm really grateful that Haverford has given me this opportunity to play tennis um, past high school. Um, number one, academically, it's given me uh, like a big release from all my academic responsibilities. Just having two hours of the day to focus completely on something else, um, I think is it benefits my academic experience at Haverford. Mm -hmm. and also, so I think for me, it's also been like a really great experience. It's been a big part of my Haverford uh, career. Um, I would say that I've really taken a lot just from like getting to know everyone, and it's also just a really fun way for me to like exercise my competitive spirit. I can't on campus. And it does give you a really nice bond, obviously, with mm -hmm. 15 other girls. Um, and so like socially, like that's been really impactful for me just to make all the friendships that I have. I mean, for starters, you guys should come support your fellow Haverfordians, for sure. Yeah, I think tennis, especially tennis, is a unique sport in that um, it's really intense at the individual level. So if you come out there's going to be something different happening on every single court. So there's a lot of variety in tennis. Um, it gets really exciting. Um, yeah, we, we need all the fans to come out and support. Yeah.